packed into the tank is a business designed to make get-togethers with friends more fun and interesting. Hey, I'm Harriet Mills. And I'm Patrick Mills. We're from Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're the husband and wife duo behind Wine and Design. Today, we're seeking $500,000 for 10% equity in our company. Wine and Design are art studios, where the instructor teaches you step-by-step -step painting tips while you might get a little bit tipsy. Each session is like a happy hour with music and a party atmosphere. There's nothing more enjoyable than a night of art class with drinks, food, and friends. Now, Sharks, who's ready to get their art buzz on with us? Well, we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Cool. Bring on the wine. So our lovely yeah, yeah. instructor, Heather, is going to be teaching you a portrait painting today. Ooh, we have a little bit of help with our figure model, Richard. Come on out, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, getting good now. <laughs> One of our most popular classes is our bachelorette package. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just for you, Barbara. Just for you, Barbara. Oh, and we're out. Tonight, we're actually going to be having a bachelorette party for Lori and Barbara. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't to believe get it. It's started. <laughs> if y'all can get Kishaw's apron on, get ready to start painting. We're going to get this party yes. started. Perfect. All of us yes. are painting? All of us oh, are painting. Do you need help with that? I need help okay. with everything. Okay. I'm shaking. I know. I'm right. shaking. Okay. okay. I think everyone might need to take a sip of wine oh, before yeah. we begin. Does yeah. Richard come event. with every party? Sure, well, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all started. Everyone um, Barbara, has their apron on. I've We've never got seen you on. speechless. <laughs> My name is Heather. Ladies, thank you for having me. We don't care who you are, Heather. Do you care? <laughs> so, you ready? First, we're going to take a large square brush. We are putting water all over our canvas, just like I'm doing here. And then you're going to grab your small brush. And then I'm going to dip it in the yellow. If you'll just follow my lead, OK? Look at our beautiful Richard for inspiration. We're just going to add yellow in a few parts that we want to. So just jump right into the canvas. Are you ladies having a good time on your bachelorette night? <laughs> uh, yeah. We're in shock. It's everything I ever dreamed about. I <laughs> swear to God. When you're done with the yellow, we're going to wash off Could our brush. Could you believe this? No. So go ahead and dip your paintbrush in the pink. If you are at that step, you're going to follow my lead. We're just going to add some beautiful pink on these pecs. The last step is the blue. I want you to wash off your brush, dab it a little bit. We're going to go over all of the stencil marks. So you're going to kind of draw a line here, here, pretty much all of these packs, these abs. Are you doing anything right over there? It's a friggin' masterpiece. <laughs> the last step is the black. And we are going to paint the background of our canvas. Once you are complete, let me know, and we will brag about our final product. I'm ready. I'm done. All right. Ready? Let, let, let's count. Here let's count it comes. Let's do it all at the Come same on. time. On the count of three. Uh, One, right. two, two, three. Look at Barb. You've done a great job. You should be super proud of yourself. So I'm going to take my friend Richard. Bye, Richard. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, ladies, for your bachelorette party. And thank oh you guys for joining God. us. Oh, my God. I hope y'all had a good time. Thank I know you, it was Richard. Alive. This has been the best pitch on Shark Tank. <laughs> oh, yes. Bar none. So glad. Yeah. Can we find out about the business, how you guys came up with it? Yeah. Give us the background. OK. So six years ago, me and a girlfriend went to um, Charleston, South Carolina, and went to a similar concept with two bottles of wine. And we had the best time. I was like, I can do this, and I can do it better. Within 60 days, Wine and Design was born. So this is a way for people to put down their cell phones, get away for two hours, paint a painting for $35. That's the cost, $35, $35. per person. Yes. So we have 74 locations, franchising. Seven Nationwide. Four? 74. In how much time? Um, well, five years. Yeah, five years. Five so six years, years ago, wow. I started this business. Good for you. Thank you. Really? That's amazing. Wow. Her. And so how long did, were you independent before the first franchise? About nine months. And what were your sales in that nine months? 250000 wow. wow. How do you get your so payment? We, so we take 6% royalties off the gross revenue. Like this year, we will do around 10 million in gross revenue wow. of all the locations. Wow. So we're bringing around $600,000 cash in royalties. Right now, our franchise fee is at $25,000. Oh, so, this is uh, a dream business. So we'll generate around 200, 250,000 off of that. How many um, territories have you sold or has it all been one-offs? 
Right now we're in 14 states. So far, I'm impressed, okay? Okay. What is the sick percent going to be next year? Next year, we'll probably do anywhere from 12 to 13 million in sales. We will easily make, I'd say, right at 350 to $400,000 in profit. We've done over 24 million in gross revenue wow. from all the stores. What? We've never had somebody on the show that's franchised a business to the scale that you have, right. ever. Eight seasons. Well, and I will tell you, all of our franchisees are women-owned. You know, because this is secondary income. When I created this business, I really wanted flexible schedule with my son. Guys, congratulations, right? What you accomplished is great. But thank you. At the same time, at 74 franchisees, three, four hundred thousand profits. If you grow ten times, you're still not up to making enough money to return me my money. So for those reasons, I'm out. Think about this problem for a second. Let's say I did your deal. I give you half a million dollars. I get 10 percent of the company. It takes me 16.6 .6 years to get my money back which is why this is mispriced. You know, he's got a great point. Like, yeah. the only way this would make sense for an investor is if somebody bought the whole company. How much are you willing to sell the whole thing for, just out of interest? It'd make us an offer. Why would you want <laughs> Oh, my God, why yeah, would you want that? I mean, look, look everything's for sale. Right? For sale. Yeah, everything's everything's for let's sell. make an offer and see. You've got a pretty good foothold in this. Why would you want to get out? Well, I personally think that we're growing a little too, too slow at this point because our, you know, we do have competition and our competition has a lot of studios. And yeah, we're the third largest in the country right now. Do you now. feel like oh, you're okay. losing ground or gaining ground on them? I, I, think we're, I think we're kind of staying at that third and we're not getting higher. I see. There's a lot of competition out there. Your valuation is way off the charts. I don't know. Listen, it's very impressive. I know people love this. So you have 74 franchises. You have competition. You're number three. And when something's really crowded like that, I get concerned about how far it can grow. I am out. All right, where are we at? Kevin, did you make an offer? The only way this works is I give you $150,000 for the 10% equity. That means I get my money back in between three and four years, which is about as long as I want to wait. And I'll loan you $350,000 as a line of credit at 12%, 1% a month. You draw it down as you need it. That makes sense to me. That, that's a decent return, and I'm not stuck forever. So back to Loan Shark. Well, I think if you have a better structure, Robert, you should table it. Well, I do have a better structure, actually. Three sharks are out. Harriet and Patrick have one offer on the table from Kevin for their art class company, Wine and Design. But Robert also seems interested. Well, I think if you have a better structure, Robert, you should table it. Well, I do have a better structure, actually. Well, yeah, let's hear it, it then. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you the 500,000, and I get one third of the business. What a lot of people don't realize is they think they start a business, business takes off, and they just get to pull that money out. Whenever you take a dollar out of the business, that's income paid at a very high tax rate. You've built a successful business, but you haven't been able to pull that money out. I'll buy one third of your stock for 500,000. Money's yours, but I own one third of the business. Do you it's understand that? It's shocking to me yes, I, I do. I that got you that. bring a naked man into the tank <laughs> and you get two offers from the two male sharks. I know. Exactly, I was thinking Barbara was gonna be right there with us. You know, they're two very different <laughs> offers. What are you going to do? Well, let me ask you, First of all, Kevin, if we did partner up, tell me the first thing you would give us a suggestion on our company. I would turn my social media cannon on this and push a tremendous amount of data out into the market about our relationship. I have a $10 million wine business. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out a cooperative deal with you to make sure the O'Leary wines are actually sold at all these events so we can co-market. I think the real goal is to sign up 100 people. It's a second income. That's the story. Get that out there. You're going to have people signing up all the time. That's the story, and that's what my team can build. It's really there. about how much equity you want to sell. you got to make up your mind. You're in the shark tank. Now's your moment. What are you going to do? Kevin, we'll take your deal. There you go. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're excited. Uh, <laughs> you made a mistake. I know. Congrats. I don't think so. Thank you so much. Good luck, guys. Uh, <laughs> we did it. We did it. 
I can't believe they took your offer. I'm wow. happy with that, I'm actually. surprised. I thought my offer was really good. I thought your offer was good. They didn't want to give up. That's Robert, a good sign. They, they didn't, didn't want to give up that one. Robert, live and learn, Grasshopper. <laughs> Next up is a business that takes care of an important aspect of marriage. Hi Sharks, my name is Julia Rogers. And I'm Sarah Beth Jaffe. We're here seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of our company. Sharks, thank you so much for joining us on this special day. A day like today requires so much attention to detail. From the dress to the tuxedo, the dinner to the dancing, and the planning could go on forever. I really love my fiance. Are you sure you even know him? I don't think he has any student debt. <laughs> Is he gonna cheat on you? I think we're gonna stay together forever. But just in case, we're here to talk about the most important topic. <laughs> prenups. <laughs> Hello, prenup. Hello, prenup is the first digital platform to allow couples to create a prenuptial agreement in hours instead of months and for a fraction of the cost without ever leaving their couch. Young couples are getting prenups more and more, but the traditional process of getting a prenup is expensive, time-consuming, and a bit taboo. But with Hello Prenup, the process is as easy as one, two, three. Go to our website. Each fiance completes an in-depth questionnaire detailing the terms of their prenuptial agreement as well as a comprehensive financial disclosure. The happy couple comes together to resolve any differences in their answers, and <laughs> boom, they can download their prenuptial agreement and get back to planning their special day. Huh. The total addressable prenup market is valued at over $550 million, Sharks. So what do you say, Sharks? <laughs> Will you partner with us? <laughs> So guys, what are your backgrounds and how did you get to this? I am a divorce attorney at a top family law firm in Love Boston, that. Massachusetts. So over the last 10 years, I've really spent a lot of time talking to thousands of potential prenup clients. And they are looking for an option that is collaborative, that is quick, and that is cheaper than the traditional methods out there. I realized what I really needed was a technical co-founder. And so Sarah Beth and I partnered in March of 2021. I am a software engineer by trade. I landed my first full-time job at Microsoft and um, I recently got engaged and Congrats. And I looked into prenups. I found that there was really no good solution. I came across Hello Prenup. I cold emailed her. <laughs> and we've been working together through Zoom, actually, for the last six months. We just met last night. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. And how many prenups have you written? We've written over 25 prenups. You've written 25? Yes. So we'll, we've had a few struggles with the software, which is where I came in. It took um, me about two years in total to develop. So I funded this 100% myself. So I used overseas developers, and then I soft launched in March of 2020. Now, 2020 was a tough year for weddings. We all know that. Yeah. How much have you made? Yeah, so we've made 20,000 in lifetime sales. That's mostly because our platform was not really operational all For of 2020. All, no, no excuses, just, I just asked. Yes. So yep. let's talk about the next year. What were you going to make? Yes, with? our projection, our most conservative projection is 4.1 million. Okay. Oh my gosh, I Great love projection. you until that. That is an absolute dream. It is a dream, guys. So what well, does on. one cost? Great what does question. one cost? So a prenup through us costs $599. The average prenup costs $5,000. The number one cost is customer acquisition. So our customer acquisition costs are very high right now. We're currently not profitable. However, we are a tech company. And right now, we are the number one source of information on prenuptial agreements online. The the really internet. Smart. Yeah. This is a space I've been in a long time. But because you actually don't yet know 
your customer acquisition cost. I would need to know that because I don't know whether you're worth a million five or whether you're worth 10 million or Our what? customer acquisition cost will be basically zero in 60 will days. Will be, will be, and in I wish days. that to be the case. But I don't and know that yet for Mr. that Wonder reason. Wonderful, before I'm you out. say I'm anything out. else, oh, well, you know, ladies, what listen, we for your listen, time. I think what you've done is genius. Thank I you. think you are right on the money. I do think you're you're really early and you're right at the precipice of it. But I'm sorry, too early for me. I'm out. Guys, while I think it's a good business and you're on a great path, there's just so many issues for me. Okay. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm out. I understand. Okay. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you so much. Guys, for me, in, intuitively, it feels like somebody who really wants a prenup is still gonna go to a lawyer, and other people are gonna go to you for information. Mm. Could be wrong. I wish you, you all the success, before but for you, me, before you, you go, for me, I gotta um, go, you know, I'm, I'm, out. Out. I'm, I'm out, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, if people really want a prenup, a lot of times, you know, They're gonna go to lawyers, lawyers. Millennials, millennials want, they as want as prenups. As they want to get prenups, or their parents, who are about to pass down $60 trillion in wealth to them, yeah. want them to get prenups. And then the millennials say, ah, this is an awkward conversation. I really don't want to go to a divorce lawyer. Who wants to hire a divorce lawyer before they get married? <laughs> and so then they go online, well they said. find Hello Prenup, they satisfy their parents, mm -hmm. they create a valid prenuptial agreement, and they're done. The process is painless. It's all great advice, but I don't think any of these guys have seen what I've seen, which is there are two ways to start tech companies in Silicon Valley. One way is to go get a lot of venture capital and go big or go home. Yeah. The other way is to be scrappy, mm -hmm. to be entrepreneurial, right, we've never and to seen build that. something yeah. as a small that. I've never oh. seen that. Well, you're I seeing don't it even right know now. what you're talking about. You're seeing it right now. Yeah. I believe in you guys. Thank you I so believe much. in the space. I do believe there's a market, and I think it will come to you. I would be happy to put 150,000 in for 30%. So tell me, am I coming along for the ride? Mm -hmm. Well, that is a bit high for equity for you us. You can counter. Ladies, you have $20,000 in lifetime sales, and now you have an offer from the founder of Nextdoor. What are you even thinking about? I love Nextdoor, by the way. I'm, Thank I'm a you user. so much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sticking at 30. But we have worked so hard to build this company. Cry me a I river. I put $130,000 of my own money. Right, give me a counter. Yeah. Give me a counter. Into this. So we would like to counter $150,000 for 20%. Let's meet in the middle. I'll come down to 25, and you got a deal because I believe in you guys. Is, is there any way that we could include another shark if we are giving that much equity away? I forgot that I'm working with an attorney here. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know if that's Kevin, a good thing. We really do want to integrate this as a regular thing in the wedding industry. Adding this as an option onto your wedding registry. Hang on a sec, do you know who he is? Yeah, why do you need another the, shark? He's not good enough and you want to no, go to we're Kevin? Not saying that. No, no, but let's face so it, I have the databases already. Offer. I've got the names. Just... I don't know if Nerf wants a partner, okay? But if there's going to be a partnership, I'd go in for 50% with him, but I want 15%. Otherwise, why am I getting out of bed? I mean, that's it's... a no brainer yeah. for you guys. 150 for 30, I will accept you that because do that, guys. I want the best for you. Do you accept the offer? Yes, we accept that offer. <laughs> yeah! Good job, rookie. Good job, oh girls. Say, I do. We do. We do. Congratulations. Thank you so Super much. excited. Thank Congratulations. You. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Oh, Lord. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. That can catch, too. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Yes. This is going to generate so much cash with no expenses. You guys will do well with that. You guys, you guys well. have no idea. This is how people become millionaires. So exciting. Oh my God. We met about six months ago over Zoom, and since partnering, you know, we got into the tank, we made a deal with two amazing sharks, and now we're ready to work harder than ever to scale this business. 
Next up is a product that helps couples stay in sync. Hello, Sharks. I'm Jen. And I'm Ryan. We are the founders of LoveSync from Cleveland, Ohio. We're seeking $100,000 for 10% of our company. Sharks, imagine this. You're out on a romantic date with your significant other. Great food, a fine bottle of O'Leary Merlot, <laughs> and there are no distractions from enjoying each other's company. I think we all know that nights like this usually finish with a happy end. But what about those everyday nights when life gets in the way and sexy times often becomes a take it or leave it proposition? Like tonight, he could be down for a little dance in the sheets, but he assumes that she is exhausted from a stressful day, lets the moment pass. Little does he know, she'd be up for a quick bed boogie to unwind, but she is tired and she figures it's gonna take more energy than she's got tonight to distract him away from his work. The reality is, these types of situations play out more often than people realize. What if there was a way we could know our partner's subtle desires when they're not always made obvious? Now there is the love sync button lets you and your partner know when your moods are matched, turning missed opportunities into more romance. It works like this. Simply place a button at each nightstand and plug into power. On those routine evenings where she's feeling a little frisky, she discreetly taps her button. If she's the only one who taps, <laughs> her partner never knows. She enjoys her sleep. But if he's also a tad randy, he'll discreetly tap his button. The LoveSync technology recognizes they're both privately thinking the same thing and lets them know by emitting a swirling glow from the buttons. They can now make their moves with confidence knowing their partner's good to go. With LoveSync, couples' desires are fulfilled more frequently, leading to a happier relationship. Isn't it time for those of us already in relationships to have a little tech to help us hook up more? So sharks, who of you want to get in bed with us and help get the world love synced? <laughs> nice. We're gonna go ahead and excuse our couple for a little private time. <laughs> Barbara, Kevin, go test it. All right. <laughs> so why did you come up with this? Uh, one night I was laying there on the fence. Is like, if, if I knew it wasn't gonna be a lot of work tonight, if she's like down, ready to go, I'm like, I'd go for it. Oh and God. I don't know, that's when it struck, and it was just one of the ideas. So, I, so Jen, yeah. what do you think of this? Once I got it, it was like a light bulb moment. After using the buttons now for several months, it's, it's a gadget that I, we, we don't want to get rid of. We've gotten a lot of feedback from our backers who have said they didn't even realize the opportunities that they were missing until they got the button. What are your sales? We made $25,000 on Kickstarter. And that's how many units? Uh, that was of 400 units. Have you fulfilled the, all the orders on yes. Kickstarter? Yes. yes. What do you sell it for? Around 60. 60. Wow. That's not bad. People pay a lot more for $60. dozen roses more to get the same thing. <laughs> what, do they, what do they cost to make? So at our first MOQ of 1,000 units, we're at $22. Uh, oh, wow. That'll go down to 14 or less. Share with us your background, these, because these, I, is this your full-time job? No. No. Yeah. So okay. I... Um, I'm a, a, a chief product engineer. I work on consumer robotics, uh, actually robotic lawnmowers. I am uh, the operations manager for a marriage and family counseling practice. Well, that would make sense, mm -hmm. you know? We know that the future in this is with mobile. We are currently developing uh, a mobile app. I'm having a hard time with the basic premise. I mean, what about you two guys? Why don't you just talk to each other? Look, I want some sex. You in or out? We so do, you but here's the problem. LoveSync is going to make communicating romantically easier and more efficient. That's what technology has done for us in all other aspects of our lives. What I was sitting here thinking was the exact opposite. Yeah. So many people complain today that actually technology and people being on their phones and yeah. not communicating yeah. has become like overpowering and, and actually a bad thing. I don't see this as sexy or romantic. I see it as technology going too far, like to a place where I feel like just communicating is so much more important. I'm so sorry, so, I don't believe in this. So it is I'm not out. a replacement. There is some science about this. Our sexual desire ranges on a spectrum from ice cold, like it's just not happening right now, right? To red hot, I'm gonna let you know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna communicate 
you're gonna get your point across, so you're gonna communicate. Do that. Are this you saying the motivation is the fear of rejection? Yeah. So this is why the app. This is why we are pivoting. I hate the app. The idea. hardware is. There are millions of apps sitting on platforms that never get used. If you had the app working right now and you put it Do out any of them there, get you, more sex? you would have to get customers acquired. That would require capital to figure out what's my customer acquisition cost, whether it's yep. this button or whether it's an app. And, you know, so, I think there's a fair amount of skepticism up here about this, to be honest with I, you. I think it would work, right, for enough people. But this is a business. You haven't yeah. said anything at all about the business other than you've done a Kickstarter. Okay. That doesn't tell me so, you have anything to invest in. Here's the business. So once we launch the app, we will start growing our user base uh, slowly at first to start get feedback and and uh, Ryan, that's not an answer, right? You're stumbling so, all over it. So then it's going to be a subscription model because this is the app. Now. People are this is not the buttons. This. Now we're on the app. That's right. Yes. Like I said, the app is the future of this, and I will tell you why that is. Uh. So. Anybody out there who's thinking like that's a dumb idea? Like, what happened? There's to the always button? a piece we're not of. Gonna, there's we're always not a piece of sell like. Any ah, you know, it, let's try. It could be fun. Let's see what happens. You know, Ryan, Ryan, you're all over the map, Ryan. So, Ryan, you are you are you making things more confusing. Okay. Ryan, I'm out. I just can't see you getting from point A to point B. I don't think you're organized enough to make this work. So here's my thought on it. My favorite part of my relationship with my wife is talking crap all day about all the things I'm gonna do, and then I just fall asleep. I don't even do it. I mean, I've heard it. Right? It's true. But that's the romantic part, right? You know, she knows that I love her. She knows that I'm attracted by her, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And she's like, sure, buddy, you're not doing anything. And that's the beautiful part about it. So I just don't, I think it's a little too early right now for me. I'm out. I want to give like this to, a okay. shot if I could, okay? The price point is too high. The cost to make it is too high. But here's the real problem with your business plan. It's Ryan. And I'm going to tell you, Ryan, why you're a problem. You don't listen. You're so in love with your idea that you're tripping over yourself to express your love again and again. And you really haven't adequately answered any objection that has been raised here. You, you jump skipped onto your new app. That's a problem because the entrepreneurs that don't listen never make it. I don't care what kind of product they have in their hand. And so that is the scariest thing in the world and the scariest place in the world for me to put money. So sadly, as much as I actually like what you've done here, I'm out for that reason. Guys, I'm sorry. You did a poor job presenting. I'm out. Good luck, guys. All right. Good luck. Thank Good you. luck, guys. Good Thank luck, you. guys. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. We are so excited about this product and this technology and all the ideas that we have for it. I think we let that get the best of us and we weren't effective enough in communicating the plan that we actually have to do that.